Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I have some fun new products from the rabbit hole designs that I'm going to be creating cards with in this video. This first stamp set is called Pumpkin Hair Don't Care. And I just love the droll little expression on his face. And the sentiments are really fun. It says, hashtag, this is my costume. And of course, pumpkin hair, don't care. I'm going to be doing something a little different for these cards. I pulled out my jelly roll pens and I'm going to be using them to color in these images. But first I'm going to stamp the pumpkin with some white unicorn pigment ink from Hero Arts. And I'm stamping it onto a piece of black cardstock. I allowed the pigment ink to dry for a few minutes. And now I can get started on my coloring. This technique works really well with stamps that are kind of sketchily drawn like this, there are a lot of lines. And what I'm doing is I'm just coloring over the lines with my jelly roll pens. Not all gel pens are going to work on your black cardstock, however. The ones I have in my stash are called Moonlight and they show up really well. And I also have a set called Metallic. They show up well too, however, not as well as the Moonlight ones. So this is just fun to color in. I'm just going right over the lines and putting down a lot of color. With your gel pens, make sure that you use just a very light touch or the ink's not going to come out. These are really fast cards to put together and they just look stunning when you're done. So I'm coloring in the flowers coming out of this pumpkin with lots of greens and pinks and teals and yellows. There are a few butterflies hovering around the flowers on this stamped image. So I use my metallic gel pens to color those in. I taped my panel down so that I could keep it still and not have to keep shifting it and make you guys dizzy. Also, something to note is when you're done with your jelly roll pens, make sure you put the lids back on. I left mine out overnight and in the morning they were crusty and they didn't want to flow. But you can always fix that situation with a baby wipe. I just scribbled my jelly roll pens onto a damp baby wipe cloth. And then after that, they flowed just fine, but it is easier just to remember to put the caps back on. Next, I'm going to use a yellow jelly roll pen to put inside his eyes just to look like he has, he's lit from within. And then a few sketchy lines at the bottom for the shadow underneath this pumpkin. I'm going to cut out my pumpkin with a decal edged die. This makes it look kind of like it was torn out. I love these dies. They're from Tim Holtz. I will link to all my supplies below and over on my blog. So I chose a piece of pattern paper to put behind my pumpkin. And I'm going to cut that down to five and a half by four and a quarter. This will match my card base perfectly. I'm going to use a white card base for this card. My next step is to stamp out my sentiment. And of course, I'm going to use the one that says pumpkin hair don't care. I'm using my leftover piece of black cardstock to stamp it onto. I'm finally trying a new white embossing powder. This one is from Brutus Monroe and it's called white alabaster. So I used my anti-static powder bag first and then I can pour over my embossing powder and melt that with my heat tool. I'm just going to brush away any stray bits of embossing powder that are sticking to the card still. I wanted to show you my new heat tool. I have the black Wagner one that I bought from Simon Says Stamp, but I found this white one on Amazon for a lot cheaper. And it's the exact same tool, but you're gonna spend like $15 less if you buy it on Amazon. It was kind of hard to find, so I just wanted to point this out. I'm letting my heat gun warm up for a minute. This will save on warping. Because it's a new tool, it's, it smokes a little bit for the first few times, but it did that with my Black Wagner heat gun as well. So not to worry if you do end up getting this heat gun. Now I can bring it to the paper and melt the embossing powder. 
so far I'm liking this white alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. I'm going to die cut my sentiment with my faux stitch die. This little die cut machine is very handy. I thought I should mention that the pumpkin that you see on the screen isn't the same one that I colored in on camera for you guys. Unfortunately, when I was embossing it the first time, I wasn't used to this uh, alabaster embossing powder, and it takes a few more seconds to dry, and I smeared it across my panel. So there was just no saving that one, unfortunately. So this is the second one I colored in. And now I can put my card together. I'm going to put my pattern paper onto my card base. I always struggle with putting my papers together. I always get it crooked and have to redo it at least once or twice. That's good enough. And next is the orange paper, and I'm going to angle that on top of the pattern paper. And then for my pumpkin, I'm going to put a lot of foam squares behind it. I'm out of my foam tape, so this is what I'm using in place of it. And then I'm going to adhere that straight down onto my card. I wanted to show you guys a new product that I'm launching on my Etsy shop. This is Jackie's Craft Table Glue. It's an archival glue that dries clear. It has a nice small tip to it, so you can get into small places with it. And I'm using it just to glue down my banners flat onto my card. I cut out a purple banner just to differentiate my black sentiment from my black panel. And now for some finishing touches. I'm going to glue down some orange sequins across my card. I'm just trying to decide where to put them. And I'm going to use my new glue to adhere these. Also, one of my favorite things about this glue is the pink cap on it. It's just so cute. Who can resist that? And here is the finished card. I just love the jelly roll pens against the black paper. On the inside, I used another piece of pattern paper and stamped the sentiment that says, hashtag, this is my costume. The second stamp set I got from the Rabbit Hole Designs is called Pumpkin Friends. These pumpkins have cute little expressions on their faces, too. This time I'm using a piece of Desert Storm cardstock to stamp my image onto. I'm using the picture on the acetate just to see how to position them. I want them to look like they're sitting flat on the ground. I'm using some VersaFine ink to stamp this image, but it's not my usual black ink. I'm using an ink called Fallen Leaves, and it's a really dark brown. And it stamps up nice and crisp. I only have to stamp it out once. And this is a brand new stamp, so that's saying something about the darkness of this ink. It's just fabulous. I learned about this ink from Amy from Prairie Paper and Ink, and I just had to give it a try. This time I'm going to be doing some jelly roll smearing. And you just put down a little bit of ink at a time and then just kind of smudge it across the panel with your finger. When you smudge it like this, it's not going to cover your lines, which is surprising. You think that it would obscure the lines of your stamped image. This is a fun technique because you're just smudging it and adding a little bit of color to your image but yet not coloring in the whole thing. You're allowing the cute paper under it to show through. It's also a very fast technique, but I'm just following the lines of the stamped image, putting down a little bit of the jelly roll pen and then smudging it out. And it wipes off your finger with a baby wipe very easily too. I'm using the same jelly roll pens that I used on my first card but I think with this lighter colored paper, you could get away with using any Jelly Roll pens that you have on hand. I did leave my image on the door of my Misty so that when I'm finished with my coloring, I can go back in and freshen up the lines, just crisp them up a bit. But I don't think you have to if you don't want to. You could skip that step. I'm adding just a little bit of color to their eyes 
and then smudging it upward and then allowing more of the paper to show through. I think that looks very cute. And then underneath, I'm using more purple for the shadows. I decided to come in with more colors just to add more interest to the colored image. So I add a bit of pink and purple around my pumpkin too. I used some teal and green for their stems. And then I'm coming back in with more orange. And that finishes off the coloring. I thought that it needed something behind it, so I made a mask for these pumpkins. I'm using a sticky note that has the adhesive over the whole back of it. And then I'm going to blend on some Faded Jeans Distress Oxide ink, just very gently behind it. It's going to be very subtle. I'm not going to cover the whole panel with it, just a little bit. And then I decide to come in with one of my makeup brushes. I forget that I have these sometimes. I'm so used to using my blending foam pads. Underneath, I'm going to add some wilted violet. And then I can soften the edges out a bit. And that's all the ink I'm putting down behind them. I'm just going to peel off my mask. This is where I'm going to crisp up the lines by re-inking it. And it does make an impact, as you can see when I open the lid of the Misty. It just sharpens it up. I think that looks so cute. Now to put this together, I'm using another decal die to cut out my pumpkins. Sorry, my head gets in the way there. I just want to make sure I'm stamping out the sentiment straight. And I'm going to stamp it out onto a piece of orange cardstock. I'm using the brown ink again. And more foam squares to pop up my image. I decide to trim down the orange paper so you can see the pattern paper I'm going to use from behind it. And I chose this cute purple and orange pattern paper. I'm cutting that down to fit my card base, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. And I couldn't decide if I wanted the stripes horizontal or vertical. But I'm going to do them vertical. And now I can adhere it onto my card base. Next is the orange paper. And now I can pull off the release paper from my foam squares. This always takes me ages, so I sped it up here really fast and adhere this panel onto my card front. I felt that it needed a little bit of sparkle, so I'm going to add these lavender sequins across the panel. It's amazing how such a little thing can just help your card pop. I think I add sequins to almost every card I make. Sequins are some kind of enamel dot. On the inside, I used another piece of pattern paper, but it was the reverse side of the pattern paper, so it complements it really well. And I stamped out the sentiment that says hashtag pumpkin everything. If you're interested in purchasing a bottle of Jackie's Craft Table Glue, head on over to my Etsy shop. I'll have the link for that below. I'm selling it at an introductory price of $3 a bottle. I also sell some of the cards you see me create on my YouTube channel. So check it out if you're interested. Thank you, my crafty friends, for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope you find the time to sit down and create something awesome. Bye.